All right, what is up, guys? <laughs> Interesting news. I was not expecting this. Um, yeah, I, you know, I was, you know, doing my closing out at uh, security blue team, you know, doing my labs and stuff like that, you know, basic lab, blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, I got this message right here. Let me pull this up. Shout out to Tanisha Martin from uh, Black Girls Hack. Yeah, my screen's kind of... I gotta fix that. But shout out to Tanisha Martin. And this was the message right here. You know, I got accepted to the SANS BGH brand offensive security academy. So this is a cohort, nine month cohort, uh, three GIC certs, sorry, GIAC certs covered. And guess how much the scholarship is for? $30,000 for each member. So I'm one of the eight, you know, and this hundreds, hundreds of people were applying. And stuff like that. And I, I, you know, I just applied for fun, to be honest. I didn't really, I applied for fun, you know. Um, and we're going to talk about something that this book mentions and stuff like that. You know, uh, shout out to Veronica. She mentioned this program to me. She's like, yo, this would be a great fit. I'm like, okay. Apply for it. It was like a one hour, super difficult SANS exam. I'm like, whoa, you know, score really well on that. And, you know, moved it on to the next stage. And I did the, the interview and, you know, was able to sell myself and, got the scholarship i mean this is crazy this is this was not <laughs> not planned or anything so very crazy i mean guys and gals you know sans t take advantage of these like i'm right now i'm on this page right here take advantage of you know these programs diversity programs and stuff like that and i'm on the sans site i'll put this all in the description below there's a lot of diversities whether you're a veteran woman whatever apply to these because you never know if you can make it to the final end and stuff like that and i don't have to really break down what sans in sans is it's the number one cybersecurity training platform in the world it very prestigious and i actually have um i had their book right here so i don't know if it's gonna be blue team but probably red team and stuff like that so i mean these are some popular sans you know certs and stuff like that on the market you got the gsoc the gossy i mean look at the reviews I've been waiting months to take this training. It exceeded my expectation. This material is, I recommend it. Because why? It helps you with your day-to-day -day work. So these are real cybersecurity professionals, you know, vouching for SANS cert and stuff like that. And one cool thing about it, let me scroll down right here. You can either do it in person, live, or on demand. So I believe we're gonna be at the on-demand cohort. So that's gonna be interesting and stuff like that. And guys, these certs are like, or training, I should say, they're like $10,000 each, you know? So I might be more into the red operation. And I actually put a little card right here. So I might be on this side. So this could be interesting and stuff like that, you know? And we're going to talk about how, you know, how will this help me in my career? I mean, obviously it's a, it's a SANS cert, SANS training. So these are some red team SANS certs. Oh, you know what I should have pulled up? I'm, I'm going to show you guys this too. Or this is just ad hoc. I'm closing out of work right now. But just want to show you guys stuff that, like, just look at the power or the, the content you'll learn. Look at this. This is legit. And the list goes so on and so on. The GDAT, GXPN. I mean, go, it goes on and on. So that's the sand book. All right. Pretty, pretty cool book. Goes over the most of the search. At this point of time, I do not know which certs we will be going. Oh, well, <laughs> which certs will we be training for all i know is they're gonna be sand cert so either way it's gonna be good content um oh i want to show you guys this right here i want to show you guys this right here i'm gonna just type this in top doo -doo 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 -doo. let me show you this real quick and click this this is all ad hoc and my phone's actually about to die so i'm gonna try to speed this up um yeah it's, look at this so this is sans Top 20 coolest careers in cybersecurity. Now, this is a chart I love bringing up, you know, my one-on-one -on -one calls with people or just chopping it up. These are all the cyber. So when people say, hey, you know, I want to get into cyber, what, what career are you really looking for? You got the threat hunter, all right? And it gives you the recommended uh, training, red teamers, DFIRs, you know, purple teamer, all these career fields, seven, blue teamer, all this cool stuff. So that's the power a cybersecurity, you have many avenues to jump into, all right? So, you know, if you want to get into a career, truly really choose something 
a career or a pathway within cybersecurity because say you want to get in cyber it's kind of bland what career do you want within cyber you know speaking about where i'm at in this point of my time i'm currently a I, I work as a content engineer for you know security blue team and we're going to talk about that before i even go to that um i wanted to show you guys this real quick before i leave the topic of sans and stuff like that so this is the academic board of security blue team notice something real quick look at the certs some of these guys have sans certs if not most of these guys sans certs sans certs sans sans even shout out to joshua sans certs and he you know he gave me his, my flowers like yo congrats sans is great training it's gonna be difficult though keep that in mind and you know this content the stuff i'm gonna learn through sans will be very beneficial in this content engineering role and we're gonna talk about that sans 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 all right so what is a content engineer? Again, it's a new arising field in the space, you know, and it's just gonna keep booming. So this is a great summary definition right here. Content engineers organize the shape, structure, application of content. They enable content personalization, targeting, reuse, multi-channel distribution. So one thing, one analogy I love <laughs> telling students and stuff like that, how can you pour out of an empty cup? All right, let's just say, hey, Let's just say this water bottle was empty and stuff like that. I don't have an empty water bottle next to me. But if this was empty, how can I pour into you who is thirsting for knowledge if I there's nothing in here, you know? So you want to make sure you're full. It's like in water to wisdom or knowledge or cybersecurity knowledge and stuff like that. You want to make sure you're full constantly so you go pour into others, pour and give back. And that, especially as a content engineer, you know, not only am I creating content and stuff like that, I'm creating content in labs to teach students and stuff like that. Teach students how to do all this stuff. And the list goes on and on and on. But teach students, how can I teach you if I have nothing to teach, have nothing to give, you know? So that's what content engineers do. They shape, they structure, they change the way, we're disrupting the way teaching is supposed to be. So how, how, does, this, how does this all fall into this whole SANS things and $30,000 know, $30, scholarship? It'll give me the opportunity, this is how I'm looking at it, to not only learn pristine, you know, up-to-date content by Sans Pros, but I could get back to the community with this new knowledge I'll be getting from Sans and stuff like that. So yeah, just really wanted to update you guys on that. I just thought it was super interesting. <laughs> and yeah, I, I mean, I don't have any, I, again, this was not in my plans. This was not in my notebook, but Guess we're gonna have to make some structures, you know, nine month cohort, 20 hours a week studying to really knock out these certs and stuff like that, you know? So yeah, let's get it. Let, let's get it guys, let's get it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And I can't wait to share more content with you guys and just pump out content in the field. All right, so, all right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. My phone's about to die. Gonna be closing out work real soon and yeah let's let's get to it all right peace all right i know i was gonna make mention of this book my phone actually died <laughs> so i got it on the charger but the main point i wanted to bring out this book uh let me start at cole so we're gonna talk about cole all right and his story and stuff like that and this is on the subject of weak ties so dr mcj brings out a point about urban tribes and weak ties urban tribes are your you know your 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 near kin your friends the people near you and stuff like that you know, compared to weak ties, strangers and stuff like that. And she brings out the, the theory that, you know, weak ties and she brings out facts too. They're more beneficial to your career and to your job hunt and to leveling up, believe it or not. I mean, think about it, you know, can your brother, can your sister, can your mom help you get in cybersecurity right now? Can she, can you, can she update you on the market? Can she throw in a good word? Probably not, but weak ties, people in the field, whether you, these are your professors, your, your peers, your classmates, they could possibly help you get into the field. But now I wanna bring out this point about Cole. We're gonna read the story of Cole real quick. All right, now Cole, young 20 year old dude. All right, you know, just struggling in life, just not really taking, you know, he's not taking his career seriously. You know, look at this. Let me, let me see right here. Uh, we're gonna start right here. Cole started to think more aspirationally. He eyed posting for a good tech job at a high profile startup, but he felt his resume was now too shabby to apply. No, this is all of us right now. Cole is us. All right, you're looking for a little tech job, little IT job. Hey, I want to get in cybersecurity. But look, his resume was too shabby to apply. He didn't feel like his resume was on par and stuff like that. Why? Because he didn't have a lot to put on his resume. He didn't have a lot to offer to the market. But look how his story changed. 
as luck would have it, and it's often luck, Cole remembered that an old friend, hint, weak ties, from high school, someone he bumped into about once every year or two, worked at a startup. He got in touch, and this friend put in a good word to HR. Guys, this is networking. This is this is reaching out. Use your network, reach out, because you never know what opportunities could arise from that. The scholarship I got was from um, Victoria. Shout out to Victoria. She's a member in the chat, and she DM'd me about, hey, you should look into it. I know you're interested in red teaming and cybersecurity. That changed it. And look, I was able to get the scholarship. But if I would have never, um, I never would have applied for it anyway because I never even looked for it. But she gave me that reach and she gave me that that visibility. I'm like, oh, shoot, okay, I'll look into it. And bam, we're here now. All right, let's read on. He's got in touch and his friend put in a good word to HR. After a handful of interviews with different people in the company, Cole was offered the position. The hiring manager told Cole he had been chosen for three reasons. Pay attention to these three reasons. His engineering degree. Guys, get your degrees. If you can, just get a degree. Get a degree. Make sure it's a great ma major. Computer science, IT, engineering. Get a degree and stuff like that. Without debt. I mean, we, we see the success with WGU and stuff like that. If you can get a degree, go for it. If not, hey, what, it is what it is. All right? Uh, what else? What else? He knew how to work hard on technical projects. Yep. His personality seemed like a good fit. Now, I know there's a common trope in the IT realm. Oh, God, these IT dudes are laying their nerves. They don't know how to talk. They're, oh, my God, they're in the shell. Guys, get a personality. You know, we got to stop speaking in binaries, ones and zeros. What hobbies do you like? What, what things do you do outside of work? How, you know, what do you like? What do you like eat? Have a personality and stuff like Cause that. Because that will speak volumes. You'd be surprised. It'll speak volumes. All right. All right, let's go on. Let's go on. And the 20 something who vouched for him was well liked in the company. Guys, it goes back to weak ties. Think about this. Think about your favorite cybersecurity YouTuber. Think about if he reposted your content on LinkedIn or gave you a shout out on LinkedIn. Keep in mind, you guys are not close. You guys probably never spoke to each other in your life. He's a weak, they're a weak tie to you. Think about the opportunities that could arise. Think about this. Let's say Elon Musk said, yo, dude. This dude, Malik, be cybersecurity dude. Like, you guys got to check out his profile. You got to, how much traffic will be flooded to my page off of that one post on LinkedIn or Twitter? And, and look how, look how it changed Cole's life. That one week tie. Because why? The, the guy was well liked in the company. This one break. Oh, guys, all you need is one break. Now, to my fellow peers in the cohort, the other seven, this one break could change your life. You're getting $30,000, a $30,000 scholarship to take SANS training. You know how prestigious that is? That's going to change your life. That's going to, that's that one break you were looking for. All right. Uh, let's read on. If you, uh, this one break radically alters Cole's career path. He learned software development at a dot com on a leading edge. And a few years later, he moved up as a director of development at another startup because by then, the identity capital he gained could speak for itself. Nearly 10 years later, Cole and Betsy are married. She runs a gallery co-op, and he's a CIO, Chief Information Officer. Now, Betsy, she was, um, I'm not going to go too into her story. It's very similar. But uh, Cole attended, like, a little girl's birthday party, and Betsy attended that party as well at the same time, and they managed to link. So, again, those weak ties. That little girl invited both of those two people to her birthday party and look they linked up and it became a married couple but that's the reason i wanted to bring out the story and stuff like that i want to, don't want to make too video too long weak ties will will change your life guys these opportunities always look out for opportunities check the market check what people are looking hey you should check this out check this out check go ahead give it a shot and what's the worst case scenario you waste a couple minutes but at least you tried at least you tried now yep that that's pretty much it for the video uh, super stoked and looking forward to get back to the community with this newfound knowledge in this cohort. All right, guys, you guys have a good one and take care.